I'm about to say something super controversial right now, but I'm not even sorry. 85% of the time in this day and age, nice guys are finishing last. Don't give me crap for saying this, but I genuinely do believe in that. As a girl, I have so many girlfriends and girl influences in my life, and I cannot even tell you the amount of times that I've heard a girl say, yeah, he's cute, but like, he's too nice. It actually hurts my soul as a girl hearing another girl say this, and I'm not even trying to be a pick-me girl by saying this, but I feel for the genuinely nice guys out there because they are willing to treat any girl like amazingly, but in this day and age, girls really just want the douches that are going to treat them like shit. So if you feel like you're a guy and you resonate with this, I would like to apologize on behalf of all the women out there. So the real question for today's video is, does nice guys actually come last? Trying to get like headlines. I'm like, does nice guys actually come last? Hey, hi, how are you doing? I'm so sorry bothering. I know you're studying everything like that, but what's your name? Abby, my name is Nate. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, well, listen, Abby, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I just think that you're very beautiful and I would just love to get your number. You good? My fault. Sorry, I thought it was in your way. You know, you know you're not in my way? <laughs> oh, I just, uh, you got a boyfriend? No. Oh, I'm gonna get your number. Okay. I just think you're cute and shit. Thank you. Me? What's your name? Marie. Marie? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you got a cute little smile. I'm fault with you, though. Mm -hmm. I like your energy and shit. Hello? Hi. Are you, are you busy? Yeah, I'm just on the phone. Oh, so, my, my fault. I, I mean, I just thought you, you were very beautiful and I just okay. want to get your number. Um, I don't give out my number. You don't give out your number? No. Instagram? No. Oh, hey, how you doing? What's your name? Adiel. Adiel, you got a boyfriend? No, not right now. Oh, let me get your number. You look so cute. Pretty, beautiful, you, you all that. Hey, how you doing? My name is Nate. Okay. good. Oh, do you speak uh, Spanish? I mean, English? Okay, I'm, oh, well, I'm so sorry, but I just thought that you were very beautiful and I would just love to get your number. No? Okay, okay, cool. I mean, that video speaks volumes. Same guy, two different outfits. He's pretending to be a nice guy. He's pretending to be a bad boy. And guess who won? Of course, the bad boy. So that says a lot about female nature. Only marry and give babies to the airport dad type. A few months ago, I was in Paris and I was getting on a flight back to LA. It was a straight flight, which meant it was about 10 hours. And when I sit down, I realize that I am sitting next to a family. So it's a dad and his two daughters and they're probably like eight and 10. So when they sat down, I had assumed that he was a single dad because I hadn't seen any other mother or woman around and he was taking care of the girls really well. Like you could tell that he actually knew his kids. So the flight takes off, we're at the highest elevation, right? It's like an hour in and then he gets up and goes to the front and he comes back with a baby. Now the baby was a newborn baby. It was like maybe six months. You could tell it was like baby, baby, right? So I'm like, where do you get this child from? Then the flight attendants come through and they start giving out food because again, it's a long flight. So a woman comes back and she's like, oh, you know, I'll take the baby while you eat your food. And he was like, no, 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 you're gonna go sit down back in your seat and I will take the baby until after you eat. So she goes back to wherever she came from, which was like somewhere in the front. We were in economy, right? So she goes back and he keeps the baby. The baby is insanely quiet. Like I was like confused, like, oh my gosh, this is the best behaved baby on a flight. So when it's his time to eat, he gets up, gives the baby back to this woman in the front, right? And then after he finishes eating, immediately he gets back up and he goes back to the front and he brings the baby back. This is now the second time that he has this child like in his possession, sitting on his lap the whole time, right? Okay. And the woman comes back and she's like, listen, like I can take him, it's fine. And he was like, no, 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 you go watch a movie I got it. Like, you're good. It's okay. And for the rest of the flight, I sat next to this man who was holding his newborn baby and his two kids that were all, we were all in the same row. And come to find out, he had bought his wife, who was still nursing, a premium economy seat so that she would have enough space and could, you know, shield herself if she wanted to when she was breastfeeding. But he had totally intended to hold the baby when she wasn't breastfeeding, right? So he was gonna have her plus the two kids that they already had. Mind you, I didn't toss that man. I don't know his name. I don't know their life story. I was just eavesdropping for the 10 hours that we were on the flight together. But when she says, marry the airport dad, she's talking about the man that will buy you an upgraded seat so that you can be extra comfortable when you have to take care of your newborn child. But you don't care about guys like this. These aren't the guys which you are attracted to. 
So what are we talking about? We're talking about women which are constantly on YouTube shitting on guys like this. This is the nice guy. The, oh, marry the guy which is gonna take care of you. I'm, I've seen so many videos of women literally sitting and saying, we're not attracted to that guy. So if you're not attracted to that guy, why even talk about him? I did a video on why good guys are boring. I think it's only fair I do a video on why girls love bad boys. It's the charm. Bad boys are very charming, extremely charming. And they know women inside and out. Like it's always the bad guys that be knowing exactly how to talk to you and exactly how to move with you. And bad boys honestly give you a challenge. Like as much as people want to say, oh, it's toxic and this and that. Like there's a certain level where like, I feel like your partner should be able to challenge you. And I must admit, like, who doesn't love a good chase? Like, I think healthy chase is not so terrible. I don't think you should give everything all at once. That's what makes the relationship boring when you dump everything all at the beginning. But I also have to admit, it's ego. I think the more someone shows you that they don't want you, the more you want them. That goes for men and women. What is up, guys? My name is Yambo Davidson and welcome to my YouTube channel. I've traveled the world and one of the most irritating things are flight delays. I just hate it when my flight gets delayed. That is why we've partnered up with today's video sponsor, AirHelp. AirHelp helps you claim up to 600 euros for every delayed flight. So sign up today and earn up to 600 euros for every delayed flight. The link is in the description. When I was flying from Namibia to Sweden, my flight was delayed. So I used AirHelp actually and they did wonders so i actually earned 600 euros and i did not have to pay for that flight which was amazing sign up today research has shown that an increased level of anxiety can actually increase your attraction to someone compared to if the anxiety wasn't there that was a study done and those were the results. I didn't make them up. And psychologists also say that our childhood, I mean, we already know this, our childhood and the experiences we had in our childhood shape the way that we view love and relationship now as adults. And no surprise, we tend to find ourselves attracted to relationships that feel most natural to us. So again, making sense, I'm sure you're with me, depending on how we were raised, we might find ourselves drawn to relationships where we have to convince the other person of our worth. If they were to reciprocate them liking you back, you probably wouldn't even want them anymore. Mm. It's the fact that they don't like you and that's what makes you obsessed with them. Yeah. You're not satisfied, but if they were to like you back, you'd probably be satisfied for like a couple weeks. True. After that couple weeks is up, you wouldn't even want them anymore. Yeah. You just wanted them to like you back. Yeah. That's all you wanted in this situation. You just needed the validation. You just needed the validation. Let's just play with the thought. Let's say I'm a good guy and you're with this bad guy. Why would I be sitting on the bench and then when you say, hey, you know what? Win us the game. Why would I jump into the game and try to win you the game? You look at me as what, your second choice? So that bothers a lot of men. Whenever a guy likes me, I kind of get the ick. Hmm, tell me more. So the story goes like this. A nice guy comes along, he wants to get to know me, and I know I should go for it because I do want a relationship, but I can't help it. This nice guy vibe just gives me an ick feeling. A part of me feels like if they're interested in me, it means that they can't do better than that, and that turns me off. You're only attracted to that guy when you're in the thick of things, when things are really, really bad and the bad boy has been just putting you through a ringer. That is when you're like, oh my God, maybe, maybe I need a good guy. I love telling people that I like nice guys because they just get so confused. They're like, oh, what's your type? And I'm like, I like nice guys. And they're just like, wait, what? Like, what are you talking about? You like nice guys. Like, it doesn't make sense to them. But what doesn't make sense to me is why more women don't go for the nice guys. Because girls complain all the time on TikTok and to their friends about having bad dating experiences and just like being treated badly or like this guy turned out to be a jerk or like a douchebag. But it's like they're not looking for someone to be a nice person or a good person as like a prerequisite for someone to 
be with them. It's like not a requirement. And like after the qualification of looks, because we're both men and women, like you have to like be hot to them to even be of like interest. But like beyond that, like the things that women mention that they're looking for is like someone who's like tall or like six, five blue eyes and finance, like that kind of man, like someone who has a good job or just like has a nice car. Like it's all these external things that has nothing to do with like who they are as a person. And honestly, like the type of car someone drives and like how much money they make is not a predictor of like how that relationship is going to go or like how that guy is going to treat you. So yes, it sounds very, very good. It does. It sounds amazing. So that, oh my God, be with a guy, which it sounds amazing. But I can tell you 70% of the women wouldn't even give a guy like that a chance. The only reason that guy got a chance is because he's been waiting on the bench. She's been screwing all of these other guys. She's, no one cares about her. That is when she looks like, okay, let me get my second option. Ah, I want the thrill of things. Oh, it's a bad boy. Oh, it's so crazy. I'm, I don't know what's going on. It's so crazy. Do you know how many girls, how many girls do that to good men? And even the men which are, they're at work, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Even those men, Oh, he ain't shit. We don't need no man. Men are trash. I had a lot of guys come for me in a couple videos ago about how I was talking to a nice guy and it didn't work out. Saying things along the lines of, oh, he was a nice guy. Why aren't you with him? Oh, you guys never choose the nice guy. You always end up with a bad guy. I'm just going to stop you right there. Just because this man was a nice guy, he really was very genuine. That doesn't mean that we were compatible. And that is my standard that I have set for myself in dating in any guy that I go out with must treat me like that. The more of a douchebag you are, the more women you get. Isn't that pretty crazy? Because I know, like, if you are a horrible person, like, if, let's say you're a, a girl and you don't really have anything going for you, a good guy will still take care of you. You never hear a good guy saying like, you know what, um, she doesn't have a job, so my patience is wearing thin never heard of it but it's the guy the guy that doesn't care about her he gets to do whatever he wants to her so what message are you sending to the good guy now all of a sudden we men we don't want it anymore We're like no it's fine it's not even like i hate her no it's just it's fine if she's not going to respect me, let me at least respect myself. And that's just how it is. And at least for me, the way I see it, I'm someone who's very particular about who I exchange my energy with. And I'm fully aware that there are a lot of messed up people out there and that men are capable of a lot of violence and mistreatment and discrimination towards women, which is why I'm attracted to nice guys. And I like them as nice as they come. Like when they're really cool and nice and normal when they're talking to you and they're not like playing mind games or like ego tripping the whole time and when they have had the same group of friends forever because they don't do anything whack and when they have like a good relationship with their parents and they have a good reputation in all the spaces they occupy like school and work and like social circles and when you can just tell that they like have their head and their heart in the right place and they like want to do things for people and like they act in ways that are kind like they help old people carry groceries to their car like I don't know like you can always tell. And for all the girls watching this video, I promise there are guys out there who are super nice and also super hot. And if you aren't wasting your time caught up with some immature asshole, you're going to be available when those guys stumble across your path. So good luck. So to sum it up, if you're a nice guy, these are the three things that you should think of. First of all, never take disrespect from anybody. Second of all, if your girl is shit testing you and doing the most, there's the door. And third of all, always ask the question, what is in it for me?